Today's video is all about the actor William Shatner, who is best known in my life as James Kirk <laughs> off of Star Trek. I grew up watching Star Trek. Now I know he has many other things under his belt that he has done and been in, but I know him best and I think most of us know him best from his role in Star Trek. Did you know that he's also 93 years old now? How is life going by this fast? Today's video is part of a series where I share celebrity melanoma diagnosis, talk about their history of skin cancer and melanoma, and how they are doing today as best I can find the knowledge on the internet. Because I think it's important to share celebrity stories as well as my viewers' stories of skin cancer and melanoma in order to prevent it and help others navigate their new diagnosis of melanoma because I too have been there with melanoma. Hi, I'm Sean, Melanoma Mom here. Subscribe to my channel so you can get more content like this. So only a few months ago, William Shatner was diagnosed with stage four melanoma at the age of 92. And it all started with a bump behind his right ear. He went to his doctor and said, hey, what is this? The doctor said that it was probably a parotid gland that was clogged up and to just massage it and it would eventually go away. So he massaged it for about a month. Every day he's massaging this lump behind his ear and he, decides to get a second opinion. So he goes to a different doctor who then takes both of his hands and places them on Mr. Shatner's face, looks him in the eye and says, we need to get this out and figure out what this is. Something's not right here. So they did, they did a biopsy and unexpectedly Shatner said that he got the call that it was stage four melanoma skipped all the stages and went straight to the one before death. And the doctor told him he had five months to live, but they could start him on an immunotherapy treatment. But if he didn't start anything, he had five months to live. Uh, he said he went through a whirlwind of emotions and feelings surrounding this, which those of us who have had melanoma or any sort of cancer diagnosis, we know intimately the feelings associated with the cancer diagnosis. Now at the age of 93, he is cancer free because he went through an immunotherapy regimen that cured his body of the cancer. Stage four, what does that mean? Stage four means that it's not only has gotten into your lymph nodes, it also has invaded your organs and is in other parts of your body. So really the only, the treatments we have, and thankfully science has come a long ways because 10 years ago, immunotherapy treatments were not available. Immunotherapy stimulates your body to fight its, fight, to fight the cancer. It basically says, okay, we're gonna rally the troops. We gotta get everybody prepared. Uh, we normally fight off small things but we've got to build a larger army to fight off cancer. And that's what immunotherapy does. As I understand it, I am not a medical professional. Always consult your dermatologist, your doctor. If you have been diagnosed with melanoma or any sort of skin cancer, or if you suspect you have skin cancer, go get your skin checked. Shatner talks about the immunotherapy sucking all of the life out of him and the huge amount of fatigue that he experienced and the cycles of life and death that he went through by going through such a strict regimen. Yet somehow he managed to be in a new movie. He came out with a children's album and he's in a hit TV show called Unexplained, which I've never heard of. <laughs> Let's talk a bit about how you get to the point of a stage four diagnosis. Physicians typically conduct tests that look at your liver and your blood count, along with various body scans to determine where all the cancer has invaded in your body. Biopsies will are most likely performed. Uh, William Shatner had the lump biopsied in his neck. He possibly could have had other biopsies, his lymph nodes or other spots on his body. And all of these medical tests, the results help physicians determine the best course of treatment for William Shatner to extend his five month 
diagnosis of life so that he doesn't die in five months. They want to extend the life expectancy. Did William Shatner feel horrible? Did he feel bad? Did he suspect that there was something wrong with him other than the lump on his ear? I don't know about you, but I always thought that if you had cancer, you would know it. Like if you were about to die, I feel like you would know it. I have come across death twice in my life and neither time did I realize that I was about to die. <laughs> and I'm laughing because sometimes we just don't know. And William Shatner was doing all of these things. He was making a new movie, a new TV show, uh, a children's album, and feeling great. He said at 92 years old, he felt fantastic. He, there was no clue except for the lump that cancer had invaded his whole body. To me, that's disturbing. When I had cancer melanoma and they told me I had cancer, I was like, what? Excuse me? That can't be right. <laughs> I'm feeling fine. I'm feeling good. Uh, and it came as a surprise and a shock because with melanoma, it's so sneaky. Self-examinations play a vital role in discovering skin cancers on yourself. Constantly looking to see if things are changing on you. Uh, learn about the ABCDs of skin cancer and how you can look to see if something is abnormal on you. Doing checks. I do regular lymph node checks here under my armpits as well uh, because I had melanoma on this arm and my doctors and dermatologists, they all do those same lymph node checks, checking for bumps. We are our biggest advocate when it comes to detecting skin cancer. Today's a great day to wear sunscreen. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.